What's good, y'all? Y'all see they released the 2K21 next gen gameplay finally? I mean, the game only come out next month, right? But anyway, that got me thinking, bro. This next gen gameplay, it's got me thinking. The NBA 2K21 annual release cycle at this point is, is well established. And for them to stray away from that that they've been doing for so long would not only be the biggest surprise in the sports gaming this year, but probably the biggest surprise in gaming in general. But I'm here today to tell you that they absolutely should. In the year 2020, when you look at annual games, I, I feel like it's a point that it's a point that's been proven over time. It don't work. It's a it's a dated concept, in my opinion. Some of the culprits include, of course, NBA 2K, uh, the WWE 2K series, FIFA, Madden, uh, at one point Assassin's Creed. And Call of Duty is the exception to the rule. And all of these games that I listed at one point were held as the best in their genre and the, and the go-to for everybody. And now all of these games have fallen from grace because of greed and love of profit. And I'm not saying that annual releases don't work. I'm saying that in this day and age, it seems to be a trend where companies, they, they'll find those one or two game modes that bring them multiple millions of dollars and they'll go all in on that and and neglect everything that got them to the dance, that got them to where they are today. And that results in them pumping out unfinished, copy and pasted, repetitive gameplay with a few slider changes and some aesthetic changes, change the menu here, change the menu there. And they're like, yeah, we know you want a new game, but $60, please. And sure, we could tweet to the developers, put it in our little videos, tell them everything wrong with the game. This is how you make the game perfect. This is what NBA 2K needs. But if they take a look at those profit numbers, they take a look at those numbers and they those numbers don't line up with what you're telling them. And I can promise you those numbers don't line up with what we're saying. They're not going to change nothing. They're going to keep doing the same thing, pumping out these same games with a new cover athlete. So, yes, going by annual, you don't stand to make as much money as if you were to release two games in that same time period. But I think if they really took like two years, you know what I'm saying? To really lock in hone in on everything that needs to be improved and they listen to the community and they they learn the ins and outs of their game then we will get a we will get a product the likes of which it, it would be the best game the best nba 2k we've had in years easily and we already know they can import the rookies into the game so if they were to go in and actually update every game mode update every game mode and if they could make park more like my teams in terms of like challenges and things to do that give you worthwhile rewards i definitely believe you could you could go two years and if you're if you're if you're consistently updating your game you know and you update the game modes at launch your game modes can't be the same thing as last year with a few different colors in the menus then i really believe that they could they could keep players interested in this game for two years and a new generation of consoles mean a brand new engine and a brand new engine means hopefully more focus on the gameplay. If the gameplay is solid, like 2K, bro, let's just, just, I'm gonna go off script for a second, right? If y'all, if y'all were to focus on that gameplay and make that your bread and butter and not hitting the folks and piping it up or whatever the kid's doing, if y'all wasn't just so worried about uh, emoting and making VC, like really, y'all could do something special, truly. In my mind, this sounds very plausible. But it could just sound crazy to other people. Like a new game, two years. We, we talk about stupid. Don't nobody want to wait two years for a new 2K. But in my mind, this, this all sounds so plausible. It sounds like it will work. It sounds like it could be a better game. And now instead of hiding your game, showing as little as possible until uh, to release and trying to hide it because you don't want people to see how similar your game is to last year's game, you can use that those two years to not only build a monster of a game, you can use those two years to, you can use that as promo to show people, hey, this is what we're doing. This is what you should be excited. Ooh, voice crack. This is what you should be excited about in this game. We're doing all of this, we're doing all of that. And whatever else your, your brilliant marketing team can come up with. And that's not sarcasm because their marketing team is brilliant. I bought the game and I'm sitting here complaining about how it's the same all the time. And one of the biggest benefits of abandoning the annual model is that now that your developers are not like, they don't have to be in that annual grind 
of 24 7 work because the next game coming out just like that now those developers they're not so overworked and stressed out which i did some research for for one of my college courses for a project i had to take that is this is factual the biggest what hold on let me let's i have a note i don't want i don't want to say it wrong so somebody be like oh d brown you're a fucking idiot that's not true but according to this research being overworked and stressed causes significantly more errors to be made in video game development that doesn't that don't sound like something you got to research just think about any rushed video game that you've ever played any game that was rushed uh do ww2 k20 sound familiar that the most probably the most buggy glitch riddled riddled game i've ever seen in my life y'all remember when i used to bash the developers like everything was their fault and they, they were the ones who were in power making all the decisions like i like it was really everything was really their fault now look at us bro we over here we're trying to help them out that's called character development, man. Clap it up. But in all seriousness, nothing lasts forever. In 2K, right now, I know it may look like you can do no wrong. Even if you're doing wrong, the numbers stay up and the, the money keeps coming in. Even if people are telling you the game is bad. I know right now, it look like nothing can change that. But, but trust me, over time, man, it might not be next year. It might not be the year after that or the year after that. But at some point, people are going to get tired of the BS people not going to want to spend money on a game that y'all not listening to the consumers and the only thing is, is blatantly obvious the only thing y'all worried about is the money why don't y'all get out in front of that and before people turn on you go back to your roots go back to what got you here i remember you remember on the case it used to say the number one basketball franchise in the world why not get back to that get back to your roots where your gameplay was the thing that shined brighter than anything else in the game not the aesthetics or any of that the gameplay so yeah man that's all i got for y'all today man i just i just had that on my brain and i was thinking like bro a, a biannual cycle it wouldn't be terrible maybe like i said maybe i sound crazy to some of y'all y'all don't want to wait two years and you'll get bored with the game but just in my thoughts it seems like this would be a better idea than what they're currently doing you know so if you enjoyed this video man make sure that you leave a like on the video that helps make sure you do that let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Tell me what you think. Is this, this a terrible idea? Am I crazy? Is this something that the community would, would stand behind for a better game if we have to wait a, for a new game for a little bit longer, but we have better quality product? What y'all think, man? Let me know in the comments. But as always, y'all, I am D. Brown Shanhan. I have not done this on camera in a long time, and I'm up out of here, bro. Y'all be safe. Make sure you wear your masks. Uh, if your friends are voting for Donald Trump, Tell them they're probably racist. Oh, nope. We're going to get demonetized if I put that in there. Hey, facts is facts. <laughs>